Fifth grade, chapter five, lesson two. Divide decimals by whole numbers. Angela has enough wood to make a picture frame with a perimeter of two and four tenths meters. She wants the frame to be a square. What will the length of each side of? What will be the length of each side of the frame? Shade decimal models to show two and four tenths. You need to share your model among how many equal groups? Four. Four. So over here we would draw one, two, three, four. Since two holes cannot be shared among four groups without regrouping, cut your model apart to show the tenths. So there are how many tenths in two and four tenths? Twenty-four. So then we're going to draw twenty-four tenths up here. And of course, your raises could be smaller up there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we need to put one tenth in each one of those boxes, right? So I just got rid of how many? Four, right? Now I'm going to put another one in there. And then I just got rid of another four. And then I'm going to put four more out. So I got rid of how many more? Four. Then I need to put four more out. I started at how many more? Four. I need to get put four more out. And I start rid of four. Now do I have four enough to go in each one of those circles still? And then I got rid of the last one. Do I have any left over? No. No. Okay. So share the tens equally among the four groups. We just did that. There are how many ones? Do we have any ones anymore? No. no. So we didn't have any ones. So zero ones. And how many tens? Six tens. Six tens in each group. Write a decimal for them now in each group. So how do we write six tens in decimal form? Use your model to complete the number sentence. So two and four tenths divided by four equals six tenths. So the length of each side of the frame will be six tenths meter. Draw conclusions. Explain why you needed to cut apart the model in step C. There was not enough whole ones to equally put out. Therefore, we had to break them apart into tenths. Number two, explain how your model would be different if the perimeter were four and eight tenths meters. We would not have to regroup. We could automatically divide the holes and tenths evenly. Make connections. You can also use base 10 blocks to model division of a decimal by a whole number. Kyle has a roll of ribbon, three and 2100 yards long. He cuts the ribbon into three equal lengths. How long is each piece of ribbon? Use base in box to show three and twenty-one hundredths. Remember that a flat represents one, a long represents one-tenth, and a small cube represents one hundred. There are how many ones? Three ones. How many tenths? Two tenths. Two tenths and one hundred. Share the ones. Share an equal number of ones among three groups. So if we had three groups, guys, over here, which you can just draw it down here on your paper. So if we had three groups, then we were going to put those ones in there. How many flats would we put in each circle? One, right? So I put a flat here, I put a flat here, and I put a flat here. And then I can mark those off because I've used them, correct? So there is, we said one, ones shared in each group, and how many ones are left over? Zero. There's no ones left over. Two tenths cannot be shared among three groups without regrouping. Regroup the tenths by replacing them with hundreds. So they took these two tenths and made them into how many hundreds? 
well, 20, right? And then you're right, they do have the extra 100 left over. So technically there's gonna be um, a total of 21 hundredths, right? So there are two tenths, so oh, no, so they broke them, um, they broke them apart, right? So do we have any tenths left? No. no. So there are zero tenths shared in each group and how many tenths left over? Zero. There are now how many hundredths? What did we just say? 21. So now they want us to share the hundredths, share the 21 hundredths equally among the three groups. So we're going to go and we put um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Can I keep going? Do I have enough to keep going? Yep. We are 18, 19, 20, 21. So did I use all of these ones? Yeah. And then did I use all of these? We already used those, right? So there are how many hundreds shared in each group? How many hundreds do we put in each group? One. How many dots do I have in this big circle, guys? Seven. There are seven hundreds shared in each group. And how many hundreds do we have left over? Zero. Zero. So each piece of ribbon is, so how many flats do we have, guys? One decimal. Do we have any tenths no. in our circle? Nope. So we put a zero there to hold our spot. And how many hundreds do we have? Seven. Seven. So each piece of ribbon is one and seven hundredths yards long. Share and show. Use the model to complete the number sentence. So they have one and six tenths divided by four. So basically they broke the one and six tenths into how many tenths? Sixteen. Okay. So that um, they had four circles. Could they have done one hole in there, guys? No. So they broke the one and six tenths into sixteen. And then they took those sixteen tenths and displaced them amongst the four groups, right? Mm -hmm. So how many did they get in each group, guys? Four. Four, but for what? We can't just put four on the line, four tenths, okay? Then they took three and 42 hundredths divided by three. So we have our, um, our three flats, right? Then we have three tenths, when in the, in the original problem we had four, so they took one of those tenths and did what, guys? Broke them apart into hundreds, right? Okay, and then they evenly displaced it. So we could go ahead and put circles around each one of these groups to show three groups. And then how many, or how much is in each one of those circles? So one whole, right? And then how many tenths? One tenth, and then how many hundredths? Four. So our answer is one and fourteen hundredths. Divide. Use base ten blocks. Now I know you guys can use base ten blocks, but I'm just going to show you a little trick, and I want you guys to try it this way. Okay. So in you're going to put one and eight tenths, and then around it you're going to put a house. Okay, and then out here you divide by three. Okay, now like I've always taught you guys with addition and subtraction, you bring the decimal straight down right away, right? Okay, and you get everything lined up. In this case, you're going to bring the decimal straight up. Okay, so you're going to put your decimal right here. Now, can three go into one? No. No, so I'm going to put a zero. Can three go into 18? Yes. yes. How many times? Six. Six times. And then three times six is? Eighteen. Eighteen. And do I have anything left over? No. So my answer is? Six tenths. Six tenths. All right. Now what are we going to put in our house? Three and six tenths. Divided by? Four. Four. I bring my decimal up. straight up. 
And then can four go into three? No. Four into 36? Yes. How many times? Nine. Minus? 36. And do I have anything left over? No. No. Nope. So my answer is? Nine tenths. Nine tenths. Okay, what goes in my house? Divided by ten. Divided by five. five. Bring my decimal yeah. up. straight up. Can five go into two? No. No. Can five go into five? Yes. Yeah. But am I going five into five? No. No, I'm going five into mm -hmm. twenty-five, which is how many times? Five. Five times. Five times five is twenty-five. And then do I have anything left over? No. So my answer is five tenths. Five tenths. I want to skip down to number eight. Okay, so <coughs> what are we going to put in our house? One and thirty-three hundred divided by seven. seven. What do I do? Bring your decimal up. Uh, bring my decimal straight up. One in, or seven into one? Zero times seven into thirteen? Yes. And one minus, minus seven. What is 13 minus 7? 6. 6 and bring down my 3. three. How many times does 7 go into 63? Nine, nine, 9 times. 9 times 7 is? 64. Do I have anything left over? No. So my answer is? 1900. 1900. Let's go ahead and look at number 9 real quick. So what's going in my house? 4, 7, Divided by four. What do I do with my decimal? Bring it straight up. Four into four is one. So four minus four is bring down my four into seven is one. One times four is four. Seven minus four is three. Bring down my two. Four into thirty-two is eight. Eight times four is, and then do I have anything left over? Let me see. I don't have nope, you know, anything left over. So our answer is. One in eighteen hundred. Okay, let's go ahead and do number ten. So two and fifty two hundred divided by nine. nine. What do I do with my decimal? Bring it straight up. Bring it straight up. Nine into two? Zero. Nine into twenty-five? Twice. Nine times two is eighteen. What do I have left over? And bring down a two. two. Nine into seventy-two? Eight. eight times. Nine times eight is seven. And then is there anything left over? No. So my answer is twenty-eight hundred. Okay. Let's go ahead and do number eleven. So what goes in my house? Six and forty-five hundred. Divided by five. Okay, what do I do with my decimal? Three yeah. straight up. One or er, five into six? One. Minus five. Five. Six minus five is one. Bring down my two. two. Five into twelve? Twice. Twice. Five times two is ten. Twelve minus ten is two. Bring down my five. Five into twenty-five? Five. Five times five is twenty-five. Do I have anything left over? No. no. So my answer is? Okay, so like I said, you guys are more than welcome to use the base 10, okay? The only thing is, it's going to be a little bit more time consuming because you're going to have to get it all laid out, set up, and whatnot. Otherwise, you guys are welcome to go ahead and use this because that is the way they're going to eventually teach you, okay? So that is your choice.